Hey everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub, and in this tutorial, we will be looking at the arteries of the abdomen and the pelvis. So before we begin talking about the arteries of the abdominal aorta, we're just going to start this tutorial by looking at the largest artery of the body, the aorta. And of course, the aorta arises directly from the heart, after which it can be divided into three parts. The ascending aorta, the aortic arch, and the descending aorta, which is comprised of a thoracic part called the thoracic aorta, located within the thoracic cavity, and an abdominal part called the abdominal aorta, located within the abdominal cavity. And the thoracic aorta runs posterior to the heart and is not entirely visible in this image. And so, of course, this tutorial is about the arteries of the abdomen, so in this slide, we're going to have a bit of a chat about the abdominal aorta. And in this image, you can see the abdominal aorta, highlighted in green, emerging from the diaphragm. And the abdominal aorta is actually a distal continuation of the thoracic aorta, which is above the diaphragm in this image and therefore not visible. But nevertheless, these two parts, the abdominal aorta and the thoracic aorta, make up the descending aorta. So, as we just mentioned, the abdominal aorta begins after passing through the diaphragm and descends into the abdominal cavity until it reaches the level of the fourth lumbar vertebra, L4. And as you can see, once it's there, it bifurcates into the right and left common iliac artery. And we'll have a chat about the common iliac arteries and their branches towards the end of this tutorial, but first let's review the branches of the abdominal aorta, which altogether are responsible for supplying the abdominal viscera and the musculature. So in this lovely image, we can see the inferior aspect of the diaphragm, and if we were lying at the model's feet and looking up at him or her towards the head, we would see this view. And of course, our right is on the left here, and our left is on the right. And we're looking at this view because we want to see the abdominal aorta in green as it emerges from the aortic hiatus of the diaphragm. We also want to see this view as it also shows us the abdominal aorta's first branches, so the left and right inferior phrenic arteries. And as you can see in the image, the left and right inferior phrenic arteries supply the inferior aspect of the diaphragm. They also give rise to the left and right superior suprarenal arteries that supply the superior aspect of the suprarenal gland, also known as the adrenal gland, which I'm pointing out with my arrows. And in this image, we're looking at an interior or ventral view of the abdominal cavity with the liver and gallbladder pulled back so that we can see the abdominal aorta below. And in both the main image and the breakout, we can see the celiac trunk which is the second branch arising from the abdominal aorta. And the celiac trunk is an unpaired visceral artery arising at the level of the 12th thoracic vertebra, T12, from the anterior aspect of the abdominal aorta. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.